Welcome back Pokefans to the Pokemon Outbounds playthrough so last episode we kickstarted this new series off with our new starters which are all regional forms it was between Chespin, Froakie and Fennekin we ended up going for Fennekin because it just looked really cool and it turns out it's also shiny as well we caught some um, team members quite early on and got an egg which should be hatching very soon and we got beat down by our rival and started to make our way through the game we have arrived at this new city where there's a gym and we're gonna go to the communication center first which I think is this building yeah comm center Technolo technology is amazing it's really amazing that I managed to find a job in a place with a lot of technology chatting with space is great Okay. So, but you can't go there. Okay, then there's nothing actually in here for us. And I think that's all that's in Felsen City. What's up here? Oh, you can't go this way anyway. Route 3 is not open. So, the, the only place I can think to go is the gym, where that crazy mad scientist looking guy was. So the gym's not open, I'll come back later. Oh. Okay then, where do we actually go? Because there's nowhere else to go. Oh, there's an entrance here. Furked Forest. So there must be a gym you come back to later on then. What encounters can we get? Obviously bug Pokemon. Oh my god, you can get a uh, Honedge. Is it Honedge the first one? Yeah, Honedge, Dewblade, um, Age Slash. Get Impidimp as well. I mean, I wouldn't mind a Honedge. Steel types are pretty, pretty good team members. Right, so we've got Bug Catcher with Suskit. Isn't it Suskit, not Suskit? Or am I just imagining that? Okay, we'll go to Rockadoo. Can hit it with a peck or two. Alright, quick attack. Doesn't do too much. And peck nearly one shots. Been better if you took it out in one hit to be fair. And Routes is level 4. Benipede we can just stay in on. Let's go for another pick. Get hit with a rollout. Does a good chunk of damage. And Rookadee's up to level 12. Wants to learn Fury Attack. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of Power Troop. Power Troop's pretty useless. Ozzy wants to learn Snarl. I think we will do that instead of Leer. Spooky. Looks like there's an item hiding here. A TM for Charm. Oh, what's this? Bottomless well, real, no fake. I've got a potion. Go in here. Oh no. And um, before we continue that way, let's go down and see what was there. Right, so we found a surskit which we don't want to catch. Okay, so there's an item and a woman looking into the water could get a grub in bug electric but we've got a tiny mushroom which we can obviously sell for money and honage no another Aussie
The spirits are happy today. Okay. Weren't expecting you to say that. Um, continue the way we were originally going then. Fungus. And then there should be another train about here. It's finally time. Another Bug Maniac Ted. Okay, and this one's a double battle. And they're both electric type. Okay, Rockety might go down here. Fury Attack's doing a lot. Why does it go for Absorb and not an electric move there? Okay, we got rid of one. Finnegan goes up to level 13. And we'll just do the same to Grobbin. And it does enough. So Rockety lives to fight another day. It's time to lose. Okay, I might actually use a potion. Grab this item when we can. So another Aussie. Although this one will be a female one. And we've got an antidote. an item that way. Yeah, we're gonna grab that. No, it's just a potion. And there's some like random start of a pyramid. And we can continue back round. The music sounds really menacing. The spirits are among us. So you're going to be a psychic, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, channeler. You got ghastly. It's level nine. You outspeed us as well. Don't mind me, look. Takes us up to level fourteen. So we're literally one level away from the level cap. I think we can just get rid of Scratch. Rookity is also 13. Right, shop it. We're going to go Aussie. Give him his first battle experience. Just go for some snarls. And then one more to finish it off. I think. There's another Pokemon to come out. Oh no. Did you just do an Among Us joke? What? I did no such thing. Okay, so still no Dew Blade. Might be a case of I have to run around later on and try and find one. Now which way do we go? But like there's going to be something at the end of this path on the left. Probably an item of some sort. Yep, there's a TM down there. Oh, Venipede, that's the first time I've seen one of them. Right, so what's his TM? Payback. Yeah, could teach it to Ozzy, I suppose. Is it stab? Oh, there's the impidimp. Which, to be fair, I would use because I like Grim Snarl, but I don't want two dark types, and obviously, we're gonna have Obstagoon. I've right, got another TM which is Snarl. That's the same TM we could buy. It's a good job we didn't buy it. And are you a trainer? Apparently Eva kind Eevee kinda of like Dust Stone in this region. Oh, is that a fakey 
evolution. Get ready for a battle. Bug catcher James with a surskit. Alright, we can just switch into Rockadoo. Go for Pex. War Gun doesn't do too much. And we one shot with Pex. Fantastic. Um, Grubbin. Go Cyndaquil. Go for an Ember. Cyndaquil evolve at level 14 now. Something's telling me it does, but I also think it doesn't. I know um, Chimchar does. He evolves early. Yeah, I think Cyndaquil's one of them where I've always thought it does, but it doesn't. If so, then he won't evolve before the gym. Wants to learn quick attack. Yeah, we'll get rid of tackle. Does the same damage anyway. I wasn't ready. Right, before we continue that way, I want to grab this item, which means we're going to have to come back around again. And it's for a revive. Oh, there's another one there actually. Ah, uh, Dusto. Right next to the um, woman who told us about Eevee liking them. Actually, thinking about it, Dustin will probably evolve it into an Umbreon. That seems to be like a common thing for fan games. Alright, then we can continue back this way. So I'm going to head left, see what's there. Although that seems to lead to an exit. Still no Hone Edge there. We've done quite a few encounters. So what's up here? Oh, Ghastly. That's the first time we've seen one of them as well. And the item is a super potion. And another Venipede. So I'm assuming when we exit here it will bring us to another sort of town or something Hone Edge must have really low spawn rate right and here's the exit which leads to Coal Town which is I think where the professor told us to go that spooky forest I can't believe that I have to go through the forest sometimes to come to work and yeah, you said the same as all the other police officers. Right, so we'll heal up and then we'll explore Coal Town. See what free stuff we can get. Taking a break is really nice sometimes. Do you just sell the same stuff? Yeah, you do. Let's talk to you. Working with Pokemon at the mine is very cool. I'll take your word for it. I'd imagine it's quite dangerous working in a mine. Alright, we'll go down here, enter these buildings first. My brother watches too much TV. Watching TV after a hard day at work is great. You can also frazzle your brain. Right then, what's in this house? Splash, splash, splash. You, yes you. You want to learn how to fish, right? Well, I guess you could start with that. Okay, we've got a rod. Now go fish for our god, Magikarp. The thing is, we don't actually need a water Pokemon because we've already got Fennec in. My dad's a fisherman maniac. He loves fishing. I'm assuming she lives in that house as well. Right then, what have we got this way? Coal mine. Might have to go in there at some point. This little excavation is quite promising. What house is this? Coal mine HQ. 
Oh, hello. You must be Pokex, right? You wonder how I know your name? Suki told me what your name was. I'm Urz, by the way. Anyway, now follow me into the mine to get the weird thing. Okay. So there was me saying we're going to have to go in there at some point, looks like now. Oh, we've got heat rock. That's like a drill we're digging. We can't get down there though to talk to that guy. Okay, so into the mine we go. Lucky for you, you can go in the mine. Or unlucky for us. And um, what encounters can we find here? Oh, could yeah, but we've already got a dart type, so I don't really want um, two so Tyranitars off the table. Um, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna get a Roly Coly because I'm pretty sure I've, I've read that there's a fake Mega Evolution for Colossal. Obviously, he'll replace um, what's it called? Cyndaquil. Don't bother us while we work. Okay, bit rude. I don't think we can go to the left because it looks like it's a little bit blocked off. I oh, know we can. You can't go that way. Oh, that looks a little bit of a different colour. So which way do we go? Up or down? Oh, here's Roly Cola. So we're gonna catch you. Replace you on the team. Rapid spin doesn't do too much. Let's go for a snarl. That doesn't do that much. We'll go for a lick, see if we can get paralysis. Of course we miss. There's the paralysis. Ooh, that was so close to KOing. Well, let's throw a Pokeball. To be fair, I don't think I've ever used Colossal either, because it's always so slow. And obviously, it's fire rock, so it takes like four times super effective off ground and water moves. Um, Routes wants to learn Hypnosis. In the end, we'll get rid of Growl. And we'll send Cyndacore back. Alright, let's go down. Okay. It's a Rocky Helmet. That's a pretty good item to have. In fact, we will put that on. Roly Coly, who's also paralyzed. That egg still hasn't hatched. Oh, speaking of which, here we go. It was like perfect timing. Are you joking me? He give us a Pokemon we've already got. Okay, well you'll be going to the box. What are you doing here? In fact, actually, I'm going to take it back to the box after this battle. And then I'm going to run around and try and find a hone edge. And then we'll have like a full team there. Alright, let's switch to Rookadoo. Rock throw hurts a lot. Massively, actually. Heck, we'll do enough. Just gotta live another rock for her, which we do. And that should take us up to level 14. Oh, yeah, I forgot to send a quality level up. Um, Zuba, Fennekin, I suppose. This will take us up to the level cap 50. Oh my god. There's new Zubats. So what type is this? That looks menacing. We 
Roly Coley's level 11 learned Smackdown as well. Was that on the encounter list? Oh, yeah, yeah, there it is. Okay. Maybe I might want to catch a Zubat as well, but I'm going to run back and put the Cinder that Cyndaquil in the box, so I'll um, be right back. Okay, well, we're back. So, I also went and caught a Hone Edge. Oh, Drill Bearer here. And, um, yeah, it didn't actually take as long as I thought. I think it was about five encounters. We also saw a Phantom as well, which we hadn't previously seen. But yeah, it's got the ability no guard, so it can't avoid attacks. What's up this way? There's an item that way. I don't know if it'll be worth using a repel. Although I do want to kind of bump into one of them Zubats. See what actual type it is. Because I do like using, obviously, fake or regional mons when I play these games that have them. You can't go that way. Okay, so we need to go back the way we were originally before we decided to take a detour. Which was, I think, left and then up. Hopefully we outspeed Dwebble yet. And say a bug move off that like bug bite's gonna hurt a lot. So I think we battled you, didn't we? And there's the lava tile. So you can get some really good encounters early on in this game. And then did we go to the right? I think we went to the right and there was an item, weren't there? Actually no no we didn't because li we literally went back as soon as we battled you. There is an item here though. Another lava tower. See I thought that would have been like a low spawn rate but looks like the Zubat is. This work can be tiring at times. And a rog and roller. Right, so continue up. The encounters are really frequent in there. Hopefully we can just find a Zubat and then once we've caught one we can just pop a repel. But we'll continue through here. And there's another item over here. Which is an icy rock so I think we've got all the rocks heat rock icy rock damp rock I suppose it makes sense there'd been a mine since there were a rock right and then we will go do we go right or up okay I think we need to go right because there's trainers there so we'll go up first just gonna explore every little nook and cranny get everything we can I've got a paralyzed heal and you're going to tell us that we can't go that way. Yep. We find quite a few types of ore around here. Another Aron, so still no Zubat. It's always the case, the Pokemon that you want, uh, not in the smooth rock. Yeah, the Pokemon you want always seems to not spawn. Like, I guarantee if we wanted a lava tower, we, we just wouldn't bump into any. Right, we'll go this way and there'll be a trainer battle. I'm bored, let's have a battle or something. Okay, so what's your team like? You got three Pokemon. Oh, and it's a double battle. Dwebble and that new Zubat. Okay, so we'll go for a Snarl and a Peck on Dwebble. So it's not very effective on Zubat, so that means you could be Fairy or Dark type. 
If you dark type, that's a little annoying because that means that um, we won't be able to use Obstagoo. Zuba actually avoided the star. Okay, I think we go for a headbutt on the Zuba and heck dwell. Okay, so you're not a ghost type because you get hit with headbutt. Look at he's now at the level cap as well. Out comes Scoraggy. Right, headbutt and pet. Double teams it down. I can go back to work now. Right, we'll go down first. See if there's any more items down there. Which is a damp rock. Apparently there's a legend about this place. Wonder what that legend is. Okay, I'm gonna do two more encounters. If we don't find the zoo but in the next two encounters, then I'm just gonna use a repel. Oh, got a megastone agronite. So early on in the game as well. Ah, there it is, Zubat. Okay, so we know that you're probably a dark type. A lick. I'm just hoping to get paralysis off. Obviously, you confuse us, which is a bit annoying. Still no paralysis. Okay, we're gonna have to snarl. Make them absorbs a little bit weaker. You miss a supersonic, that's great. We've now put you in the red. Should be able to catch you now. Pokeball, go. And there's the three count. So what type are you? You dark flying. Near dark flying. Parts of their wing are made of stone. Legends say it was a mythical beast back in the day. Let me see its summary. Prevents Pokemon from getting poisoned. I mean, we'll leave it in the box for now. Probably be something I'll come back and get the. Um, I was going to say, how are we stuck? And now we've caught one, we can just use a repel because there's nothing else in here that we want. Right then. Following it around to the right. Looks like there's... Oh, I didn't see that trainer there. Took me by surprise. Okay, Rog and Roller. I'm just going to switch into... Fennekin, get rid of it quick. Might do some switch training with Honage as well. So you can catch up with everyone else. Oh, you've got Sturdy. And you set up Stealth Rocks. And we miss a water gun. Catch you this time though. Larvitar, so another rock type. Alright, let's switch back to Fennekin and we'll just water gun.
although I accidentally clicked Aquajet, but he did enough. Her age is up to level 9. And I'm s oh, I clicked Roller Coley for some reason. Don't know what's wrong with me today. It's not the end of the world though. Then we just switch back to Fennekin and Water Gun. I didn't actually see a gym in the town though, so I'm not sure where the actual gym is. Maybe it was at that other place and when we finish whatever we're doing here, opens it up. But we'll head through here. Urz is the new is in the new area we found. Okay, so that must be through here. I feel like there's gonna be a battle or something. Let's use some potions. And then carry on through. There you are. Look, this is the thing I was talking about. Come take a closer look. Looks like an egg. As you can see, it looks like an egg. But it's very clearly not from a Pokemon. Pokemon eggs are never in this colour. And the material of this egg is extremely soft. Wonder how long this egg was there in this room in the middle of nowhere. Maybe Suki will know what to do with it. Oh, who are you? And how did you get through security? Oh well, no, it makes sense. We are Team Eclipse, and we came here to take back what is ours. This egg. What? Nah. And Team Eclipse sounds like a clown name. <laughs> Offensive. How dare you? Team Eclipse is going to kick your ass for daring to say that. I'm waiting patiently for that. Oh, okay. Let's see what you're all about. Okay, you clearly use Psychic Pokemon. Right, let's go for a snarl. It's like a decent chunk of damage. Doppler's gone. Out comes a zigzagoon. Yeah, I think we just snarl. Oh, of course, Beldum avoids the attack. Go for another snarl that get rid of Beldum. And then as long as you go for Smackdown, Zigzagoon's gone as well. Yep. Perfect. Out comes Algium. Snarl again. Does about just over half. Why would you use Guard Split? Doesn't matter because Snarl will finish it anyway. Or not. Rats right, wants to learn Draining Kiss. Um, I mean, it's better than Disarming Voice. Everyone levels up. What? No, we can't lose. This is not the end for us. We will come back stronger. Well, that was something. You should take the egg before they come back. Now I have to go back to work. Okay. Hey, I've just been contacted by Suki. She's at the Pokemon Center of Felsen City. You should go bring her the egg. Felsen City, that's all the way back through that forest. Okay, so I'll fast forward to when we get to Felsen City because it's going to be a bit of a trek and there's not really going to be anything going on. So yeah, be right back. Okay, we're back in Felsen City. So it was the Pokemon Center, wasn't it? Which is down here. No, it's not. Where's the... Oh, no, the Pokemon Center's up to the right. Don't know why I thought that was. Yeah, there we go. So... Ah, Pokéax, good to see you. So tell me what is this strange thing? A Pokémon egg? Can you show me that? It's very interesting. I've never seen such a thing. 
Don't think I can do much in my equipment in my lab, but I know someone who could do something with this. His lab's near Route 5. Can you go there to give it to him? I'll let him know you're coming. Also, I should give you this. Got a poker gear. With that, I can call you when you need it. Now you should go and do the gym of Felsen City. I'm sure the leader's back in town. Um, no, we don't need to heal up. So, now I think about it, that Urs had a carving. So maybe he's the gym leader. What have I gone in here for? Plus, the gym leader's out was out of town and he's now back. Urs has finished doing whatever he was doing, so he could now be back. Oh, this is the weird guy. Welcome to Falson City Gym. I'm the gym guy. I'll give you some info about the gym here. Oh uh, yeah, the leader is Urs. Specialises in rock type, which means that you will have to use grass, water, ground, steel, or fighting type. If you want to get to Urs, you'll have to press two switches. Very simple. Good luck. Oh, and before you go, you should have this. And we've got fresh water. Fantastic. Okay, so head into the first battle. If I were you, I'd avoid flipping that switch. Why? We've just been told we need to press it. Worker Hayden has got a dwebble. Okay, so we definitely switch here because if you've got Bug Bite, it's going to do a lot of damage. Should probably take Ozzy up to level 15 there. And there was the predicted Bug Bite. Right, go for a water one. You've also got Sturdy. Finish it off with Aqua Jet. Yeah, and there's Aussie level 15. Baby doll eyes could be decent actually. Guarantees an attack drop. Right, Larvitar will go Hone Edge first. Switch back to Fennekin. You're also level 12. Feel like it goes for Bite. Or scary face. I don't think Aqua Jet KO, so we'll go for Water Gun, but we get flinched. Hmm. Alright, press the first switch. Get rid of them ones. Then battle you and click the other one. Oh, I should have led off with um, Honage. To be honest, I'm just going to stay in and snarl. It breaks are sturdy anyway. It does allow you to get off Stealth right there. But it's not the end of the world. We go out into Fennekin. Should survive whatever you hit us with. Yeah, that did a good chunk. And a water gun finishes it off. How many wants to learn aerial ice? We'll get rid of tackle. Um, we'll just stay in. We're going to be able to switch back in. Gah. Okay, so we'll press this switch. I'm just going to run back and heal, and then we will jump straight into the battle. I think I'm just going to lead off with Fennekin. But yeah, be right back. And we're back. So, let's jump into this. Hey, Pokéx. You probably didn't expect me. I mean, you might already know it was going to be me if you read the sign outside. So anyway, you want to get that badge, don't you? And then show me you're worth it. I mean, the fact that we just helped you stop Team Eclipse should have been... Showing our worth, but whatever. Right, you lead off with carbine, which is kind of expected. Level 14. I hope you wear a helmet. Why is she going to be throwing loads of rocks? You actually outspeed as well. And water gun does under har. Never underestimate carbine's bulk.
really curly on slab rock polish I'll skip on that dwebble we can water gun as well sand attack there and there's the sturdy aqua jet misses connects the next time there I mean that accuracy drops a little annoying and then you send out a roller coaster. My last Pokemon, kinda sad. Roller Coley, I guess it's time for you to show that you're tough as a rock. Oh, what? It's boosted. Well, I weren't expecting that. Oh, it's got steam engine. Okay. Right, let's heal. Bulldozer is only doing about 10, so we can go for another water gun. And we KO it. So it threw me up a little bit getting a stat boost. Well done. Congratulations, beating me is the first step to becoming the next champion of Azine. You deserve this for winning. And um, we got the Rocky badge. Here, have this TM2. TM54 Rock Blast. I wish you good luck for the rest of your adventure. Okay then. Looks like you got a DM. Little reminder. When you've been the gym leader of Felsen City, you need to go to a lab near Route 5. Thank you for that. And on that note, we will end the episode there. So next episode, I think we head out onto Route 3, because that should now be unblocked. And then continue that way to Route 5. Don't know how long it'll take to get there, but hopefully it's not too long. Or if it is that something happens in between. Probably another rival battle, actually. But yeah, thank you everyone for watching, and hope to see you all next time.